Earl Simmons, December 18, 1970 to April 9, 2021, better known as DMX, short for Dark Man X, was an American rapper and actor. Early Life Earl Simmons was born on December 18, 1970, with various accounts giving his birthplace as either Baltimore, Maryland, or Mount Vernon, New York. He was the son of 19-year-old Arnett Simmons and 18-year-old Joe Barker. Earl was Simmons' second child, she had given birth to a daughter, Onita. Two years prior, and later gave birth to one daughter, Shayla, and two stillborn sons. His father, Barker, was an artist who painted watercolor paintings of street scenes to sell at local fairs. Barker moved to Philadelphia and was largely absent from his life. As a child, Simmons suffered greatly from bronchial asthma, being taken to the emergency room almost nightly due to him waking up unable to breathe. He was raised as a Jehovah's Witness but became disillusioned with the faith after an incident where he was hit by a drunk driver while crossing the street. A month later, an insurance representative went to his house to try and reach an agreement to prevent his family from suing. Simmons claims he was told that his family could have been awarded a settlement of $10,000 and possibly even more for the injuries he sustained but that his mother rejected the settlement as she claimed that. Jehovah's Witnesses are taught to be self-sufficient although the group's official doctrine at the time did not prohibit suing or receiving settlements. Simmons went through a disjointed childhood that included being beaten by his mother and her various boyfriends so badly that he lost teeth and sustained numerous bruises and cuts on his face. Due to poverty, he slept on the floor with roaches and mice crawling over him in the night. When Simmons was five years old, his family settled into the school street projects in Yonkers, New York. At school, he threw chairs at teachers and stabbed another child in the face with a pencil. When he was seven, an aunt got him drunk on vodka. The same year, he was jailed for stealing cakes from a market. One summer, his mother locked him in his bedroom, allowing him to only exit for trips to the bathroom. At the end of the fifth grade, at age 10, Simmons was expelled from school and sent to the Julia Dickman Andrus Children's Home for 18 months. In what he described as a defining moment of betrayal, his mother tricked him by telling him they were just visiting the home, then she enrolled him there. A few months later, he was arrested for arson in an attempt to burn the school down. When he was 14, Simmons began living on the streets of Yonkers to escape his mother's abuse, sleeping in Salvation Army clothing bins and befriending stray dogs. Shortly after he began doing this, his mother once again sent him to a group home. During his stay, Simmons bonded with other students from New York over their shared love of hip-hop music. After performing for his friends, they encouraged Simmons to continue writing music at the behest of his teacher. When he returned home, Simmons met Reddy Ron, a local rapper, who was impressed with Simmons' beatboxing skills and asked him to become his partner. Simmons chose the name DMX, which came from an instrument he had used at the boys' home, the Oberheim DMX drum machine. It later was also interpreted as Dark Man X. As a freshman at Yonkers Middle High School, DMX was the second fastest on the track and field varsity team. However, he had bad grades and a sparse attendance record. He turned to robbery as a way to get out of poverty, his first was a purse snatch theft in Yonkers that netted him $1,000, equivalent to $2,600 in 2021, which he used to buy a new leather dog collar and dog harness for his dog, and a pair of Timberland boots for himself. By the end of the year, he attended school just to rob people and was robbing three people per day. He then turned to carjacking. Musical Career 1984 to 1996, career beginnings. DMX got his start in the music industry at age 14, in 1984, when he beatboxed for Reddy Ron. In 1988, while in prison for carjacking, he began dedicating almost all of his free time to writing lyrics and also meeting and rapping with K-Solo. When he was released that summer, he began producing and selling his own mixtapes where he rapped over instrumentals from other songs and sold them on street corners, which helped him build a local fan base all over New York. Columbia Records signed DMX to its subsidiary label Roughhouse Records, which released his debut single Born Loser. He released his second single, Make a Move in 1994. 1996-2000, signing with Def Jam and commercial success. In February 1998, he released his debut major label single, Get It Me Dog, on Def Jam Recordings. The single received an RIAA certification of gold. His first major label album, It's Dark and Hell is Hot, which included the single Rough Riders Anthem, was then released in May 1998. The album debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 chart in the US and sold over 5 million copies. 
In December 1998, he released his second album, Flesh of My Flesh, Blood of My Blood. He released his third and best-selling album. And then there was X, on December 21, 1999. The album was certified six times platinum, and was nominated for Best Rap Album at the 2001 Grammy Awards. 2001-2004, Return to Music. DMX in 2001. After improving his legal situation, DMX returned to the studio to complete his fourth album, The Great Depression. Within its release on October 23, 2001, it was his fourth album to debut at number one on the Billboard 200. Featuring the singles Who We Be, We Right Here, and Shorty Was The Bomb. Despite the album's triple platinum certification, its commercial and critical success was lower than his previous album. His fifth album, Grand Champ, released in September 2003, once again debuted at number one on Clude, Where the Hood At, and Get It On The Floor. After its release, he informed the public that he planned to retire and that Grand Champ was his final album. 2005 to 2011, Year of the Dog, again and the definition of X. DMX signed to Columbia Records in January 2006. He recorded his next album, Year of the Dog. Again. It was released on August 1, 2006. He released two more singles, Lord Give Me a Sign and We In Here. On June 12, 2008, Def Jam Recordings released a compilation of his greatest hits, The Definition of X, The Pick of the Litter. In 2011, Def Jam released another compilation album, The Best of DMX, which features hit singles including Where the Hood At? and X Gone Give It To Ya. 2011-2013, Undisputed. On October 11, 2011, DMX performed at the 2011 BET Hip Hop Awards. He stated that he has been working non-stop every day on his seventh album, which was later titled Undisputed. In late February 2012, Seven Arts Pictures acquired the catalog of DMX's music and signed DMX to a two-album deal. During a performance at New York's Santos Party House on December 25, 2011, DMX stated that the new album would be titled Undisputed and would be released on March 26, 2012. After numerous delays, the album was eventually released on September 11, 2012, and featured production from Swizz Beats and J.R. Rodham with a guest appearance by MGK, 2013-2021, Def Jam Reunion and Exodus. In 2013, DMX announced he had begun working on his eighth studio album. He collaborated with producers Swizz Beats and Dame Grease. On January 7, 2015, Seven Arts Music announced that DMX would be releasing Redemption of the Beast the following week. However, close personal friend and recurring collaborator producer slash rapper slash entrepreneur Swizz Beats and DMX's management confirmed that this was false. On January 13, 2015, Seven Arts Music released Redemption of the Beast without acquiring a legal artist contract. On January 15, 2015, it was announced by DMX's brother slash manager Montana that DMX was no longer signed to Seven Arts Music and that they would be taking legal action against Seven Arts Music for the unauthorized release of Redemption of the Beast. Longtime collaborator Swizz Beat stated that two of the collaborators on the album would be Kanye West and Dr. Dre. On June 28, 2016, DMX released a new song titled Blood Red and produced by Divine Bars. On January 11, 2017, DMX released a new song produced by Swizz Beats titled Bane Is Back. Health Problems and Death Simmons said he became addicted to crack cocaine when he was 14 years old. After Reddy Ron tricked him into smoking a marijuana cigarette laced with the drug, he also said that he had bipolar disorder. Simmons entered drug rehabilitation several times including in 2002, 2017, and 2019, when he cancelled concerts. On the morning of April 9, 2021, Simmons lost functionality in multiple essential organs, reportedly his liver, kidneys, and lungs, and was pronounced dead shortly after at age 50. It was revealed on July 8 by the Westchester County Medical Examiner's Office that Simmons' official cause of death was a cocaine-induced heart attack. Alright, that's it for this video. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos.